So I am here at Supercomputing 2023 in Denver and I am at the student cluster competition which just ended so we heard the clapping and shouting so guys you look happy so I want to ask you what is your feeling the competition is just uh, over so who wants to give us the first impression how do you think you did in this cluster competition so let's start later. Um, well, I'm glad it's over. It was a stressful and slightly sleep-deprived uh, last few hours, few days. I think for the most part we did pretty well. We got everything submitted, even got some extra points, uh, did the extra work. And so I'm excited to see the results. That's very good to to hear. It's very important that you are happy that you're happy because you managed to submit everything. What have you learned in these uh, few days uh, of this uh, cluster competition? Well, I've learned that there's always a surprise hiding for you, like everywhere in life. This time it was a CTF challenge that I was completely not expecting. Um, we tried our best and uh, now we'll wait and see what the results are. I think we haven't even, we haven't done too poorly. I was, I think, a bit more responsible this time for organizational stuff, so I definitely learned a lot in that aspect. It's uh, a bit daunting sometimes to be responsible for a group of people and to make sure that everyone gets where they need to be on time and that everyone goes smoothly. But it was fun, and I'm glad that I got to experience it. Please, Hannes. Yes, so same for me. It was a great experience here um, with all the uh, university teams from all over the world. And also, I like that they didn't only focus on just HPC, but also on everything around it, such as security, which is an integral part of every computer system nowadays. Uh, it's definitely a great opportunity to see so many companies here um, doing many um, researchers and, and so on uh, with HPC. And um, also it's a great experience here to work with different um, university teams here and get to learn how people uh, use such great computational power to do excellent work. It was a really cool uh, time here. But uh, I think we're glad that it's over now. It was uh, uh, some long hours. Um, and I think we saw that uh, good planning and uh, a lot of preparations are, are really good. We are, we are happy that we were somewhat prepared for all the things which came. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when at first uh, I thought about it, I didn't know what to expect. But I must say, I, I certainly wasn't expecting this. It was, like a, for me, a really great experience. And I think it is like also quite hard to quantify what I've learned because it's like so much new things which I have experienced here, learned here. So I can't really give you more of what I've learned. It's just it. It was a great experience and I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, it was a good point. You mentioned planning. Uh, we have to say that the Team Raclette is uh, sponsored and actually uh, tutored by Professor Toster Ofler of ETH Zurich. And the technical support is uh, from usually Usen uh, Arake, the system engineer at CSES. So, uh, how did you prepare actually for this competition? You said we plan, but, but so how did you plan? How did you prepare for this? Who wants to? Um, I mean, the there are like certain applications we have to run and benchmarks and the world were relieved a little bit uh, beforehand and because we have access to our uh, cluster back in Switzerland and so on, we were able to already compile these applications, get familiar with them and get them to a state where we like somewhat know how they work. We have them compiled and we can bring something here which gives us results. And then, yeah, I mean, here we get new things, new inputs, but because we had prepared beforehand quite good, we were able to handle those yeah, nicely. If I may, another integral part of our preparation was uh, the workshops that we were able to hold earlier this year. 
uh, one of which was with people from CSCS, which very graciously they offered their time and they came to Zurich uh, and they taught us and they gave us their knowledge and their insight and many, many materials, which without them we definitely would have struggled a lot more. So that was definitely a big part of our preparation. And also the workshops that we just held amongst ourselves where we taught our other team members consolidating the knowledge that we had. I'm very happy to hear that CSES also helped in supporting you in this, in this competition. Um, so would you recommend other students to participate to the cluster competition? Who wants to, to answer? Yeah, honest. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, we are a student team. We are open for applications. You can visit our website, raclet.ethz.ch. And if you want to join, I can really recommend it. Write us an email and we will get in touch. So were you already friend before uh, starting the cluster competition? No, not really. We, would you consider yourself now a team, a, a strong team and also a uh, have you developed a friendship? Yeah, we have. I mean, over the time of the 48 hours that we have to work here together, and arrange ourselves, have someone at the booth, and also organize how we arrange our sleep schedules, as well as who is running on the cluster at which time we get to know each other. And I think overall it was a great um, bonding experience here. And I'm very glad I had it. I'm very, very happy to hear this. So I want to thank again the Team Raclette from ETH Zurich. I want to thank again Torsten, Professor Torsten Nofler for supporting and encouraging students to, to uh, think big and also Usain Arake for helping you to prepare for the cluster competition. And let's keep the finger, finger crossed for the, for the awards tomorrow.